Good morning. Today I'm at Womberall Beach. I'm going to do a morning painting. The sun hasn't quite come up yet. That's how it's looking. This beautiful beach. So I don't know what I'm going to paint, but I want to capture the morning light somehow. So I'm going to head up a bit further, see what I can find. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at today, folks. I was going to paint that view there, but I'm actually going to paint the sun over the water with a broken wave and a little bit of sand. That's what I'm going to have a go at today. This beautiful sunrise. Look at that, beautiful sunrise at Womberall Beach. So let's get painting. So capturing the morning light, it changes so quick. But what I'm noticing when I look out there is that the bottom of the, on the horizon, it's a real yellow ochre and white color. And then the beautiful pinks and oranges, as it goes up, that comes into play with the soft pale cobalt blue at the top with a nice soft gray. The, the key is, is to not overwork it, get the colors in, and keep it nice and simple so I don't lose the feeling of the morning. What I'm going to do before I lose it is I'm just going to establish my watercolour, get that in place, the darkest uh, tone of that watercolour, so I can carry on because that's going to change super quickly. So what I want to do is get that watercolour in place, the darkest colour of that watercolour, so then when I come to working on the water, um, it's already, I've already got the tone that I can work off and uh, I'm not painting a different painting. Okay, so when I got here and I seen the sunrise, it was like fire in the sky. Now, obviously that's gone now, I've lost it, but I took a couple of reference photos. You can see this color here that I got here. That's the color I'm gonna put in now over the top of my sky. I've got me, me grays in and me blues in. Now I'm gonna put the fire in the sky. And uh, if that turns out, we're dancing.
Look how bright the sun is now. It's really shining through. We've had about 10 seasons in uh, half an hour here. It's changing, it's hot, it's cold. Everything's going on. Okay, so this is where I'm at. I'm gonna leave the sky. I'll come back and do what I need to do as I get to that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the water now, get that in place, complete the water, have a look at it, reassess, work out what I need to do with the sky. The key is you can tend to overwork a painting so quickly with uh, sunrises or sunsets. You've got to get, keep that colour nice and clean and pure. So let's get the water done and we'll come back to the sky. Okay, so this is where I'm at. I've got me ocean in place, and I'm, now I'm going to put the highlights in. Highlights of the sun coming over, and it ripples all the way through, and it jumps the waves as it comes in. So that's what I'm going to do now. Let's get that done. Oh well, the trials and tribulations of the plein air artist. That light kept changing so quickly. And now uh, I could end up with 10 paintings in one. But anyway, let's have a look at it. I think I caught the essence of the painting and the feel of the morning light. Tell me what you think. It was quite a challenge and I had to stick to how I was going to do it and not keep changing things and I was sort of getting a bit like that I'm um, an iron but you've you've got to stick to what you first lay out to do and then produce a good painting so anyway I'm hopefully hopefully I'm um I'll take a look at it later I don't think I'll rework it but I think I'll leave it as it is that's what I wanted to capture in the morning light and um tell me what you think in the comments anyway catch ya see you in the next one